What you see is what you get, and he means every word of what he says. And every class that he teaches, it's taught with complete honesty. There's a tradition that goes on in this dojo, this karate club, that you wouldn't expect to find on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Here amidst Lincoln Center, the Metropolitan Opera, and these oases of gourmet delights, you've got Tokyo on the Hudson. And Mori Sensei's dojo is not another Tiger Shulman or a Black Belt Academy. In this humble, traditional dojo, every action that's performed each ritual that takes place is part of a larger design that Mori Sensei has in mind for his students. It boggles mind when you watch him in a class. He's dealing with this person's insecurity and then this person's fear and this person's aggressiveness and this person's cruelty. And it's all in guys in the mask of a karate class. Come on, you're having a body. Come on, what A medium like a martial art. Uh, to be your preferred form of study, it's because there's a unique aspect to, to that study. There's a process that a true karate teacher puts you through. It's about self, a very strict training regime being the place where you examine all of that. True, <laughs> まあ、国内国際の社会にね、貢献できる人物を、空手道を通じてね、その汗の中から、要請をしたいね。まあ、21世紀になったから言ってね、21世紀の空手は、私は教えません。昔の空手を教えます。それが、ああ、21世紀から22、23年ずっと続いていく基礎になると思います。ただ21世紀になったから、今度はその1世紀のようなモダン的なことは決していたしません。オリトセンセイ who was the founder of the New York Athletic Club explained that when the JK wanted an instructor Even though karate encompasses the body, the mind, and ultimately the spirit, it's a physical art, and a lot of Mori Sensei's teaching happens on a physical level. His aim is to make his students better people in the world, and he goes after that goal by whatever means he feels appropriate. makes Mori Sensei unique and what makes him a master teacher in his own right is that intangible thing that draws people to this club and keeps them here for many years. And, and it is, it's how he views the process and how all of his energies are put into cultivating that process for each and every student. And that's seeing how someone has started from the very beginning and how 10 years down the line, Mori Sensei is still pushing that particular person's particular button um, 
and it's extraordinary to watch. And what happens is when 10 years down the line turns into 15 years down the line, that person's button is gone. That person's button has been eradicated through 15 years of, of him pushing, pushing, pushing. That person has now mm. transformed in his absolute dedication because he firmly believes that this is the right thing to do. How to go about it is his method. And he's dedicated his life to perfecting that method to achieve the goals of a teacher and a, and a karate master.